Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I hope you, 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 are well. Today I am really excited because I am actually finally testing a gadget that one, I've had for about two years, no joke, and also I thought I'd lost it, and then suddenly I looked in a box last night. Oh, I found it. This is a gadget I've been meaning to test for ages. Uh, it is called Sushezi. Sushi Revolution. It's essentially a line that I never thought I'd ever say in my life. A sushi bazooka. That makes it sound worse than it actually is. It's a tool for helping you roll sushi, which actually I haven't found in the past too hard, but it does bond a really good tube, apparently. The homemade sushi revolution starts here. Load the rice into the cannon. Nice. Lay in your other chosen ingredients. Ensure all is firm. All is firm and well and seal it up. Slowly push down on the plunger, then watch it in awe. Watch it in awe. I haven't heard that phrase for ages. As your perfectly formed sushi is born right there in your kitchen. It's actually born. Uh, giving birth to it. Bit extreme. Made in New Zealand. Uh, I love in the packaging though. It's very cool. See this? The cool thing about it as well, you don't just make sushi with it. We're going to make something else as well. Hard to open. Oh, look at that. Is there anything in there? Is there any stickers? Is there a USB stick like the other week with our butter gadget thing? A lot of you guys absolutely love that, but boy, it was a lot of butter, wasn't it? Uh, there's a butter spraying gadget called the Bean Sprayer. Bean, bean. It's quite expensive, but I have got one on the way. All right, okay, so it's got some other recipes um, and um, methods for making the sushi rice and stuff, but uh, you can make uh, like cookies and stuff like that, which we do have some of the ingredients for. Uh, lolly cake, whatever that is. You could make little burgers and then slice it up out of your log. Very good. Chocolate cookies, yeah. Walnut fudge and chocolate salami. Now that is a video recipe I've done before, which I absolutely love. And I have actually got most of the bits for that. In fact, we should do that first. What I'm trying to say is that I'd rather my sushi taste a little bit of chocolate rather than my chocolate tasting a little bit of sushi. So this is it. The sushi. Okay. Plunging thing. But apparently this bit, oh there we go. That bit does open up and we put our sushi in there. Summon the sushi. Also doubles up as some sort of windpipe. It's pretty sturdy actually. Let me give it a wash and stuff and uh, we'll get cracking. All right, so I have got all the ingredients I need to do the chocolate salami. That's gonna take a while to firm up into a log cylinder thing. So we'll do that first. 150 grams of dark chocolate and uh, 50 grams of butter. I already weighed that out. I just wanted to look like I knew that I could guess it. 52. Stick it in our microwave. I'm just gonna melt it up on 30 second blasts. Oh, that is a new microwave, by the way. It looks identical. Uh, it's the same one. <laughs> no more electric shocks. Oh, nice and melted. That's a pack of ginger biscuits. Macadamia nuts. Reminds me of the Brazilian taste test video I did. Everything from Brazil had macadamias in it. Some sweetened cherries. And that's some fruit peel. I'm only gonna use about half of that. Now, some of you are wondering why it's called uh, chocolate salami that haven't seen the video that I've done before. When you slice into it, effectively, it's a big chocolate log biscuit thing, but it should look a little bit like salami. It normally does. So I'm just bashing it up now uh, with a rolling pin, primarily to bash up the ginger nuts and the nuts. All right, that'll do. Only other thing to do, which is gonna help hold this all together, the chocolate mixture is still warm. Egg. I really <laughs> haven't looked. Yes. I really hope I hit the bar. <laughs> so we just mix that in, du -du 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 -du, kind of like a chocolate omelette. Nice. And then the chocolate goes in with our bashed bits. Stirring it through to coat it. Right, where's our bazooka? Take half a cup of the mixture and place in one side of the sujezi and repeat the same for the other side, blah, 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 blah. All right. Right, so here we go. There is our nice clean uh, sujezi. Sujezi. Ugh. So we load it up. So that's one side done. Now we do the other side. <laughs> the chocolate salami I did, I didn't use egg in mine, um, but the heat from the chocolate would have uh, cooked that egg there. So we're lucky there, because it was still quite hot. You can get away with doing it without that though. All right, I think we're roughly there with that. So now we have to close it. Oh, go on, look at that. Yes. Right, it's in there. Oh, yeah, we need the end cap on it. 
Okay, okay. So there's a there's actually a padlock on there. We stick this on here and then lock it in. Oh yes. We're there. Oh no, the plunge is supposed to go in. Oh, you can see what it's gonna look like though, can't you? So that goes in there. Ah, uh, okay. Right, get in there. Right, now we go. So we now turn this. Two, three, four. Oh, I can hear it like squishing down the end of it. No, it doesn't want to turn anymore. And I think you don't actually put this thing in the fridge anyway for this recipe. Kind of like the sushi, using it just to get that initial shape on. So in other words, now we've gone to all that effort of putting it in there, we've got to take it out. You might remember from a previous gadget video, the Wrap Master 3000. Yes. We've got some icing sugar. Take off our cap. Bear in mind, this has only been in there for like a couple of minutes. Oh. And then we use this. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. It's actually worked and that looked very wrong indeed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, <laughs> that's worked an absolute charm. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge, wash that up and we'll do our sushi now. So this is just some sushi rice that I've washed so the water's clear. Uh, putting a lid on it, simmering it for 10 minutes. Once it hits a simmer, leaving it simmering for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna let it cool. And once it cools, we can add some vinegar and shape it and stuff in our bazooka, which has been washed again. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, there's a full kitchen gadget playlist. There's two of them, individual and grouped together. Uh, have a barathon, put on a sweatband. Cheers. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going for a very simple sushi. These are some vegetables that I've sliced up and I've also got some uh, pickled ginger as well. Minori sheets. Uh, nori, basically roasted seaweed sheets that you roll the sushi up in. Yeah, now they've decided to only sell half sheets. So I hope they roll up. If not, I can have the log with my samurai sword and then roll them, we'll, we'll get around it. Just while the rice uh, is finishing off, I'm gonna cool down. Uh, the plunger for making sushi takes up another roll. So uh, instead of doing the nori actually, we could roll it up and it'll just have the, uh, the outer of the rice, which is also uh, popular sushi, uh, but we wanna do the seaweed around it. But the plunger itself, once we get it into the two bits, we apparently we can press down and it'll create like a carcass for us to put the fillings and then it'll get sealed in. That's the plan anyway. And on another note, this jar of ginger does not wanna open. Oh! So this jar key thing, a gadget I used previously, has hopefully, yes. <laughs> this is a really handy gadget I reviewed before, the jar key. We had that the other night when we were trying to open a jar. Mrs. Barry and I were both like, <coughs> and then Phoebe comes along and goes, Daddy, jar key. So that's our sushi rice. Bit of sugar, bit of salt and about two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Mixy mix just to incorporate that all through and now we leave it to fully cool and then that will be really pliable, really gummy, like a sushi gummy bear. What I've got here is uh, a little bowl of water for my fingers because it helps uh, picking up the rice so much easier. If you don't do that, it will stick to you forever, basically. Okay, so it's very accurate about this. Half a cup of rice. So we'll just measure that out first. All right, so half a cup. Well, my Alexa keeps doing that. We're mulling over turning it off because uh, we've got this theory that it's always listening and it's like recording our conversations. All right, so with my wet fingers, I'm gonna press this in. There we go, looking good. Uh, right, do the same with the other. Boom, like two troughs of rice. So now what we do is we take this end thing and push down into it like so. So we do it again and it lines up with the screw end thing and just uh, uh. See what I'm doing there? Push, push, push. So now we put our fillings in there. So I'm gonna go for a uh, yellow pepper, red pepper. We'll lay some strips of ginger. I've really got into ginger beer recently. Let me know if you wanna see a video recipe on that. I'd love to have a go at making my own homemade one. We'll get some carrot in there as well, and some strips of cucumber. So far, so blooming well good. All right, clamp that in. So it says gently lift it together. Ooh, 
and then close it, okay? Clamp it down. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Put our end stopper on. Lock it in place. Isn't that look a bit like the handle to a lightsaber with my limited Star Wars knowledge? I should really uh, message Ashens and ask him that, but we tend to just send each other an emojis at the moment. I think I've done it again, haven't I? I've shut it without the thing in it. <laughs> There's a line on it there, right? So what we do, turn it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's, yeah. It's at the point now where it isn't moving anymore. My lock thing is on. Now this is what I should have done with the salami just then. We just take that off. Boom, like so. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing. And we just push it straight out of this onto our nori sheet, which I can already see from there is not gonna wrap the whole thing. Yeah, they're too small as I say, but the sheets have a glossy side and a bit more of a rough side. So you wanna put the glossy side down, just wet one, and that should stick it. DJ Seaweed in the house. Let's do this. So this is probably the best angle for you if I go like this. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at that. I just gave birth to sushi. <laughs> Bit of water on the seal. Yes! Holy schmoly, look at that! I mean, it looks like a big cucumber now, but that is the best sushi I've ever, well, the easiest sushi I've ever made. That is blooming amazing! Oh my gosh. I am <laughs> over the moon with this. This has worked an absolute charm. So whilst we've been mucking around uh, with the sushi, our salami has set really well. Bit more ice and sugar on the top. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a very hot day here today. So if you don't eat this straight away, um, keep it in the fridge, but look. See the inner bits there? Salami. That tastes awesome. Bit soy sauce. Oh my word. Mm and the chocolate salami. Oh, naughty. Mm. If you want to be any naughtier, put some rum in there. Ooh. So there we go, uh, the Sushezi is actually really, really cool. I'll put a link in the description if you fancy checking it out. If you see any cool gadgets uh, you'd like to see me review, uh, let me know down below in the comments. I'll try and get hold of it or send me some that you don't need anymore. There should be some links on the screen now to click and watch some more videos and have a marathon. Thanks so much for the support and I'll see you again next time.